What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS. I want to welcome you back to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. And what we're going to be talking about today is Town Hall 10 and how slowly but surely we are seeing the attack meta change. Uh, you know, be before this last update, all we pretty much saw, if you were going to be tripling a Town Hall 10, for the most part, was air whether that was a queen charge Lalo, whether it was a cold-blooded entry Lalo, you know, shattered entry Lalo, you basically had Lalo on the back end. And we are seeing that that is not so much the case anymore. Uh, I have three replays featuring three completely different attacks. And some of these are attacks that we used to see that have pretty much been gone and forgotten but have now made their way back. What I'm referring to is something like a queen walk or a queen charge mass minor. I know if you look hard enough on YouTube, we are, and we also on this channel, we've shown a few 10v10 triples using bitch, bowlers and witches. So I have a replay featuring that. And we are seeing that a lot more, especially since the witches just got a fat ass buff. And the third replay that we're going to be going over is something that I personally haven't seen. I'm sure if you looked hard enough, you'd be able to see it. But what I'm referring to is Shattered Hobo at Town Hall 10. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and cover each one of these attacks and how I really believe they're going to be part of the attack meta with Town Hall 10 going forward. So again, without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right into the replays. Okay, so this is our very first replay. Go ahead and rub your eyes if you don't believe what you're seeing. We got Blazing Mist doing it. <laughs> Blast from the past style. Queen Charge, Mass Minor. He's got 31 miners on this. And in case you didn't notice, I'll point it out in case you didn't notice. He doesn't even have Clan Castle troops. Now... Obviously, when you're doing a mass minor attack, as that's all we used to see at Town Hall 10, he, so he would have had even more miners. Doesn't even have a clan castle. So for, uh, for those of you that don't know or that forgot already, in this last update, Supercell did give the miners a hit point increase. Now, their mechanics are the same but they do have more HP. So he's starting off with his queen charge down here at six o'clock, about five, six o'clock. You'll see he got all kinds of value from that baby drag that basically cleared all the trash surrounding that Inferno Tower compartment on the bottom left. So basically he's having a nice, beautiful funnel. So all his miners are just gonna beeline it straight to that Inferno Tower. Now, that's another thing I wanted to talk about real quick is base layouts. Go ahead and look in your archives six months ago, a year ago. Look at what the Town Hall 10s looked like back then compared to what they look like now. Town Hall 10s, all we saw was mass miners back then. So the bases looked a lot different than they do nowadays. You had Inferno Tarko apartments that where you'd have all your storages in there. You'd have all your giant bombs in that compartment. You'd have all your skeleton traps and so on. But I'm telling you, the bases do not look like that anymore. They look kind of like this, where you have all the air defenses on one side. You know, you have your storages trying to set up a hard funnel, uh, you know, for something like a kill squad coming in. Because all we saw at Town Hall 10 up until basically a few days ago was Lalo. But I'm telling you, there's all kinds of variety at Town Hall 10 now. And all the, although this was not the heaviest Town Hall 10, I'm telling you, Look at how many miners Blazing Mist has. And to remind you, he didn't even have Clan Castle troops. Look at how many miners he has at, at, at the end of this raid. And I didn't have a chance to record it, but he was tripling 87 and 88 Ks. I still believe Lalo is going to be the go-to for the heavier Town Hall 9s, such as 90K and 89K. But I'm telling you, 87 or 88K and below... There's going to be all kinds of variety. Look at how many miners he has left. Even went ahead and swagged a poison on that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed that blast from the past. I sure as hell did. Now let's go ahead and check out some shattered 
Hobo 10v10 action. Okay, this was the replay I really wanted to show everybody. This was the one that's really going to shake up Town Hall 10 right here. We got Hulk going up against Scarface. Now, I know Scarface does not have the heaviest Town Hall 10, but he also doesn't have the lightest Town Hall 10 either. So Hulk's doing it shattered hobo style. And although it's a very common attack at Town Hall 9, it's not so much a common attack at Town Hall 10, as we all know. But the same principles, the same rules apply as far as your kill squad goes. You know, starting a nice funnel. Uh, you know, you definitely want to eliminate the enemy Archer Queen. You know, same thing. Eliminate the enemy Clan Castle troops. Just start a nice defense pathing for your hogs. So he's got his Golems coming in. Drops down the wall breakers. Pops the wall. Uh, he, he does have CC bowlers, which was absolutely key as his kill squad is just going to get amazing value as they're coming in at about nine o'clock. They're going to be going counterclockwise, just moving his kill squad down to six. And he does start his hogs nice and early. Kill squad was at about 35% before he started his hogs. And he's not going very surgical. He does have 24 hogs he brought along. He's going very heavy, which basically makes it to where the hogs are basically one-shotting all these defenses as they are under a lot of heavy splash damage and DPS. So just to move them through the base even faster. So they start up at 12. They're going to be going clockwise down to 6 o'clock. And you'll see there's just a few defenses left. He even swagged a poison. He is going to be swagging his Archer Queen ability as she took out the second Inferno Tower. And it's pretty much just going to be cleanup. Even his baby drag is still up. He did have that baby drag up at 12 o'clock to help with the funnel. And since he started his hogs up, up at 12 o'clock as well, he even ensured that his baby drag would survive. He probably got 20% of the base eliminated just by that baby drag alone. So I'm telling you, variety we are seeing a lot more variety at town hall 10 which was a word that just did not exist before this last update so let's go ahead and check out our third and final attack using bitch at town hall 10 so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right into it okay so here's our third and final replay poor scarface hulk was shitting on his bases all day long so basically with the bitch attack, he's going to be starting on the upper left-hand side, starting his funnel at 9 o'clock and 12. If you look at the beginning of this replay, there were two mortars over at 3 and over at 6 where there were mortars. Now, unlike a lot of other attacks, one thing that destroys a bitch attack is splash damage. That being wizard towers and mortars. So he basically dropped one bowler on the rock skip, took out a mortar. So nice trade there and did the same thing down at six on the rock skip, took out the other. Cause remember, a lot of people are still putting mortars on the outside of, on the outsides of the bases. So just got amazing value there. Everything coming in. It's got bowlers coming in, got skellies coming in. Did have a poison for the balloon dragon CC. Goes ahead and rages up his bowlers and his heroes as they're making their way through the base. And one thing that we are seeing is the golems. He did have a shattered entry uh, having those golems doing a nice job tanking. One of the golems went into the base. The other one he was basically doing like a bowler walk with a golem leading the charge over on the upper right hand side and you'll see he still has all kinds of bowlers and skeletons that's another important thing about this attack is and that's where i always see this attack fail where the clan sees the attack fail is when you don't have any witches or bowlers on the flanks if you have a pair of witches and a bunch of bowlers on the sides, trimming all the defenses on the edges, and you have your main kill squad going through the core of the base, that is where you see this attack the most effective. And I'm telling you, we always used to see this attack, or still do see this attack, 11v10, but since the witch update, and a little bit before that, but even more so now, since the latest update, where Supercell gave the witches all kinds of love, we are seeing 10v10 bitch style happening more and more often. Now, I really hope you guys enjoyed 
<laughs> this video, I, I made sure I got three attacks that you just did not see. Guys practicing this in friendly challenges, practicing it in friendly wars, and also using it in some of our war attacks. So again, just spicing it up a little bit, it, just bringing all kinds of variety to Town Hall 10 that we just were not used to seeing. I really hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope it opened up your eyes to show the, the versatility of attacks now and the different kinds of bases that we're going to have to be building to defend multiple attacks, just like how Town Hall 9s have to defend multiple attacks. So we are seeing a new wave, a new meta coming to Town Hall 10, which is ever so exciting. So that will wrap it up for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.